Hey, Ray, this is Alex Merced from alexmercedcoder.com. So just a reminder again, when we look inside our Stencil.js project folder, you're going to see a setup like this. Okay, again, your node modules folder just contains all your node packages. You can generally ignore that folder. Your .gitignore file, this is a file of things that if you push to a GitHub repository, it's going to ignore. This looks like it's all set up. Don't need to touch it. Okay, your package.json folder just kind of summarizes your project, tells you the most important things here is that these are the scripts that you can run by typing in npm run and then your script command. So I can be npm run build, npm run start, and it runs these different scripts already built into my stencil project because we ran that stencil init command in the first video. And then again, these are your dependencies. These are any npm packages that the program depends on. So for some reason, if something isn't working right, just type in npm i, and it'll go in there and make sure it downloads all your dependencies, just in case one of them is missing for whatever reason. This is for your readme. So here you can actually kind of edit your, this is sort of, generally every project comes with a readme file that kind of explains what the project is, what you're doing, why it works. So you can edit that, make your readme. And these are other files that you generally don't need to touch. It's just some other sort of standard config that's mainly for the, the compiler. So generally, again, everything you need that you need is really in this source folder. Okay. Cool. And then again, pretty much all your work will be done within this, because basically your index is really all in this app root. So your whole website's in this app root component. And then your app, the app root component already pretty much comes with a, a router, app root. And then again, if you want to add more pages, you would just add more to this router. So again, this first one says that the root website, this URL, etc. And then you just create components that would go to uh, the, the make the, for each page. And then, but today we're not going to make a component for a whole page because we already got that with app profile and app home. So there's already two pages kind of created. Uh, I want to create a component for something that's on one of those pages. So we created this card component here. So right now we just have a blank component. So again, the TSX file is really where all the magic happens. Okay, so this just imports a component. Again, we have our car card component CSS. That's all this is saying. It's just basically giving all the main metadata for what's this component's deal. So for me to use this card component, this is going to be the tag name. So let's say let's put this on the home page. So app home, I'm going to go to this component, and I am going to right here at the bottom. Okay, I'm going to do it above this route link. Okay, and all this is what all this is doing is just saying that hey, when you click on this button, you're going to trigger this route, this this specific stencil route. So you're not going to trigger the route that might be programmed to your server, but the specifically stencil route that was defined in the um, the app root uh, component. So above that, I would just put in my card, or was it the card comp? Card comp. And then you have to, it's a closing tag. Have, it's a it's a self closing tag, so you just do it like that. Okay, and there you go. So now all I have to do is go out there and um, create the component. It should show up there. Okay. And the cool thing about this is that if I design that, depending on how, I'm going to just design a static card component for now. But later on, we'll kind of put variables in it. And you'll make it where you can actually just reuse it over and over again and not have to necessarily do the same work over and over again. So let's watch. Save. Okay, let's go back to the card component here. Cool. Uh, 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 return. Let's just delete this. We don't need that. Just make sure. Do, do, do. Yep. We can just do this in a div. Okay. So this is just going to be a card component. So at its root, it's a div. And in this div, we'll have two more divs. 
one that's going to represent a title. So we'll have to give it a class of title. And another div, just for the generic text. Cool. OK, we'll make these, just leave it at that. Actually, we'll just say leave here, test, test. OK, cool. Now, what we want to do is style it, because right now it would just show up as like, like, let's see here, actually, watch what happens. If, if right now it's just going to say test and then test. So nothing too exciting. It's not styled. It doesn't look pretty. Might as well just done an HTML at that point. But just to show you that it works, let's do it. Let's go back here and do npm run start. And it'll kickstart that, bring it up again. It's building everything out because again, it's a compiler. It's not, it is not rendered at runtime. It's compiled and then you include it through your scripts into your website. So see there, that's where our component is, but it doesn't look all that cool. So we want to make it look cool. So we're gonna do is so we're gonna go back and I think since it's a dev, this is like a npm run starts like a it's like a dev server, so it's gonna update as I go along. So we'll see it change. So what I'll do to make that just in case that is the case, I'll just do it over here. Okay, and I'm gonna go to the CSS. So again, let me just close out these other components to make it a little less. So there we go. We're working out of the card component, card component TSX. And do 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 or edit the CSS. Well, and actually, I do want to give that parent div a class too. So let's do that too. We'll call this um, class card container. Cool. So let's make the card container. Uh, let's make that display flex. Mm, yeah, flex direction is going to be column. So I want everything showing as a column. But I want this to have a width of three. 200, uh, yeah, I'll make it 300, and a height of 200. These are pixels. I'm going to make sure there's a little space around it, some breathing room. So let's make some margin, let's say 10 pix. Okay, a little padding on the inside. We'll say make that 5 pixels. Then we'll add a border. So we'll make that border three pixels solid loop. Save that. Okay, so see, we can see the change already. Okay, then I think we had, what was the class here? Title, so let's go change that. Class title. We're gonna say font size three M's or three EMs. Okay, um, X align. Center, color of the font, 
will be blue. Nice. Okay. All right, I'm going to go back to VS Code. Not this one. But this one. Okay, and then I want that. I want all the divs that are in the card container. So card container div. I want them to all have text aligned center. So that way all the text is centered. Card container div. Oh, this is text emphasis, that's why. Text align. Save. There we go. That's all centered. And let's actually make that, let's make the title have a, a border. Border, two picks, and dotted. Yep. Dotted um, red. There we go. Sweet. And now I could go back over here, back to components, back to the app home component. And again, I just plop that in there with this. I could copy it over multiple times now. Save. And now we'll see it three times. Okay, just added it two more times. I mean, it did add it two more times. For some reason, they don't get the styling isn't carrying over as it should. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rebuild it just to make sure. Okay, so let's go back to this. Control C. Yes. And let's run the build again. NPM run start. Let that build out. I don't need all these extra windows. Yep, see, they all look identical. So in this case, I could I could just make as many of these cards as I want really quickly um, with very minimal work, which makes life a lot easier, okay? And I mean, you could do this with like four loops and a templating engine. But this could make it even, even easier. Okay. Um, now, this is not really all that useful if they're all going to say test and some random text. It would be much nicer if I could make each one say a different thing. Um, we will explore that in the next video. So I'll see you guys in the next video. We'll talk more about it there.